and yet exciting episode. Today I'm showing you how I upgraded the ATOS cameras and for those of you who haven't seen the video regarding that equipment, click on the link to your top right. I started off with a piece of plastic rod and worked it out grinding and sanding it until I reach a satisfying shape. I got rid of the original shape because in my opinion it was too squared off. And here is a comparison of the original and the modified one. Now let's make that cockpit a bit more interesting. After I researched some pictures on the net, I decided I want to build a brand new overhead panel. And once again, piece by piece, I built from plastic card sheets the complete panel and including the power plant levers. And not to forget all the wirings and the reading light as well. And voila! Here's the completed work. After painting it with its base color, I went straight into the weathering. If you're interested to learn how I created that effect, go ahead and click on the link on your top right to see me explaining it during my previous video. I find it very relaxing when I start putting some colors onto a freshly made aircraft. At the end, it's a good rewarding satisfaction. What about you? Type a comment below and share with me your thoughts about that. While this job is in progress, let me talk to you more about this helicopter. The Gazelle, made in France, is made to be a light transport, scouting and attack helicopter. It first took flight in 1967 and it took designations as SA-340, 41 and 342, the one used in the LAF. You might not know it, but the Gazelle is being used today in 2021 by 19 nations. It first entered service in the LAF in the early 80s. In 2007 the UAE donated 9 gazelles to the LAF. And as of today, around 8 helicopters are in combat ready status. After removing all those details that they were not accurate to the real heli, I went on detailing the original parts comparing them to the pictures I researched. You might be interested in knowing what tools I'm using and want to know more about my technique? Just type a comment below, I'll be happy to help you out. Finally, after finishing the drilling process, I added some details with the plastic card to make the nose section more realistic. And for this next upgrade, I'm gonna let you guess what part of the heli it's gonna be. Type your guessing in the comment below and if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified about the reveal. 